day everyone <clears throat> and hello another video in one day can you imagine <clears throat> either i am really bored or i just really wanted to do it no i did it because i asked a lot of a lot of people have been now sending me messages on request after the first video which was just launched a few hours ago so yeah i'm releasing my second one and this is um this is thanks to boris cornelius you may know him from other videos that i've played before and he sent it to me and uh, and also he's been to this track so i guess it's kind of reminiscent that um <clears throat> that i play the car that i drive the car it's probably his favorite car now uh, in formula one so we are driving the rb7 sebastian vettel's world championship car and uh, we're going to drive off right now and uh i actually haven't driven this track so much but uh, i do know at least an r factor but i do know what it's like in, in uh, real life. A lot of front down force, that's for sure. So this is the 2005 spec, um, 2005 spec uh, Spanish Grand Prix. Um, it's one of my favorite well, it's not really my favorite track in the world, but it's still a great test track because it allows, it at least gives a good indication on who's going to be quick or not during a Formula One season. If you don't know what Formula One is, Formula One is the premier of motorsports. It's the fastest and, in my view, the best. And I am biased, obviously, because it's where I, w I wish to be going to in a few years' time. It's a bit lagging, my screen. <laughs> as we do this, probably because I have AIs all over the place. So this is the different part of the layout. It's called the New Holland Chicane. And um, it's flat out because in the new layout you go to this very twisty part of the track. And uh, there goes the revs, and your eardrums burst at this point. A uh, little fact about this circuit. It's located in Barcelona, in Catalonia. It's uh, used most of the time for testing, but it's also used for the actual Formula 1 Grand Prix, GT races, and also it's one of the highlights of the Moto GP calendar. And um, <clears throat> what, and it's, it's yeah, it's a pretty good track actually, I don't mind it. I used to despise this track, but then I got a steering wheel and it makes this track far more enjoyable, that's for sure. Running the curb. And, um, do I like the car? Obviously, this car has so much turn in. It's probably hard for you to see now, but this car has a lot of aerodynamic grip. And it just sticks. Um, I've set up the car pretty badly, though, I have to say. It does not do itself justice as we have AI, and I believe that's probably. Oh, uh, that's Sebastian Vettel. Or Mark Webber, one of the two. And here's a little treat for you, I'm going to overtake him. That was a that was one, 20, 6, point seven, two. There you go, more of your eardrums as we're still side by side. So yeah, this has been the Barcelona racetrack. Do I like it? Yes. If you have R-Factor, definitely get this. I would recommend getting this F1 mod, F1 RFT 2011. It's a great mod. It's the best, I think. Um, I think it's the best 2011 F1 mod if you're interested in. And uh, I actually think of the graphics have given the, these cars great, you know, administrativeness. You know what I mean? And, um, and that's really it. Thank you very much once again to Boris, who uh, suggested the track, and obviously um, obviously trying to uh, make an inner joke about, uh, about him going to the Barcelona race, although I'm very jealous of him, obviously. If there is a fact um, I have been to the Monaco Grand Prix, which reveals about my next episode, 
Let's put it that way. And uh, I hope it will be a good episode for you guys. Uh, I'll try and release it tomorrow. Uh, uh, that's all from from me today. As I slam the uh, as I slam the uh, downshift. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, click subscribe and uh, go to nextbattle.net for more information on me and um, many other people as well. So thank you so much once again. Have a great day and see you soon. Bye.